We're back. We are cloning a body control module out of a Land Rover. Uh, here is the clone. This is the original. Our chip that we're working with today is, you probably can't see it because it was hard for me to even read it with the microscope. It is a MC9512DT256. Um, it's not actually under Land Rover in the auto, but I do know that Volvo has one. So I looked under Volvo and turns out they support the chip. So we're going to clone it under a Volvo. We're gonna go to EEPROM, chip writing. Mobilizer. We're gonna go over to Volvo. Then we're going to find the MC right there. MC nine S one two DT two five six. Okay. Eprom first. Uh, we always go into set, make sure that our verifications are turned on. They are. Connection diagram. So this here shows you hooking up to these. But since it's a Volvo, it's not the same. Um, one of those is the same out of four. Um, the power, which is five volt, is the same. The other ones I had to find, I had to count the pins on the chip and go over and find somewhere to hook in. Um, for the black and the blue, I found some bigger areas to connect to but on the yellow I had to solder right to the chip and it looks like it's almost touching on the other one but it's not it does read well so we'll back back out of this we're in the EEPROM we're gonna go ahead and read it See, we've got actual stuff in there. It's not just all blank. I've already got the name there, so we'll just hit save. Okay. We'll escape out of that. We'll go to our flash. This one takes a little bit longer to read. So once it gets started, I'll pause and come back when it's done. our flash hit save and save that okay and now we are going to on solder from this and solder up to our clone all right we're soldered up to our clone I already went ahead and read and saved both the flash and EEPROM so we're just gonna go right into writing it we're going to write our EEPROM first, which is going to be the smaller of the two. As always, it's going to write it, reread it, verify it, and let us know that it was successful. Now we're going to do the 
slash. Which is the larger one right here. And this one's going to take a little while, so I will pause and come back once you guys see it goes over the 5%. If you guys don't know why I'm talking about going over 5%, if it sticks at 5% and it doesn't go past 5%, it's usually not going to write. There it went past 5%, so we know it's going to write. Now it's going to reread it, make sure that everything is verified and correct. As you can see, it was successful. So that is how to clone the Land Rover body control modules. Uh, even though Auto says they're not supported, they are. You just got to do it under a Volvo.